I'm Dave. Okay, good to meet you, Laurie. Uh, hello, Facebook Live viewers. We've got uh, Laurie Penny here. She's kindly agreed to speak with us. Dave. Dave? They. They have kindly agreed. Oh, okay. Um, can you tell us why you're here today, what your message is, and uh, you're, you're speaking later on, is that? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, I'm not affiliated officially with these guys, and they asked me to speak, um, so I don't speak on behalf of Abortion Rights UK. It's just me as an activist, as a writer. Um, I'm here because I believe that the... Um, I'm here to prevent a moral outrage. Okay. I'm here because I believe that forcing any pregnant person to carry to term and to give birth against their will is a moral outrage and I okay. think it should be forbidden. Okay. I don't believe abortion is a right um, so much as, well obviously abortion is a right, but I think it goes beyond that. I think it is the, I don't believe there is any freedom in a state which would place restrictions on any person's body that... Um, that require them to go through pregnancy and birth against their will. I think that is the moral equivalent of rape. Okay, okay. Okay, thanks for sharing your view there. So, um, do you believe in human rights for all? Yes, absolutely. Okay. So, when did you become a human? When did I become a human? Yeah. When I was born. So, what were you just before you were born? I have no idea. I don't remember it. What's the, what, what is your point here that you're trying to make? I'm trying to establish when human life begins. When human life begins? I don't... Let me put this question to you, to you another way. I don't believe that the issue here is whether or not a fetus is a person. You clearly believe that a fetus is a person, that's your right. Do you believe that a woman is a person? Absolutely. Absolutely. So do you believe that any person should be forced to go through pregnancy against their will? Do you believe in forcing women to give birth against their will? Well, it yes. depends what you mean by forcing. That the pregnancy, the natural outcome of pregnancy is birth. So it, it, if, in terms of f forcing someone to be pregnant, now if someone is uh, tragically the victim of rape, one could say that's a forced pregnancy. But aside from that, pregnancy is just a natural so continuation. That, do you think that abortion should be legal in the case of rape? Well, uh, laying that aside because that accounts for such a small percentage, I'm talking about your general point that uh, not allowing abortions is, is equating uh, to forced pregnancy. Yeah, it, it, of course it's equating to forced okay. pregnancy. Okay. In, for most of human history, abortion was legal. Mm -hmm. It is very, very recently that the okay. state has come in to put these restrictions on people. And the, and the, um, the state um, laws that have just come in in America, in Poland, in mm -hmm. Brazil, and elsewhere are the most restrictive okay. state surveillance of women's bodies that have ever been put okay. into place anywhere. Well, we do need to return to that question when life begins. Because if why? the fetus is a person, yeah. if the fetus is a person, then why should they not also have a right to life? Why should the fetus's right to be born trump a woman's right to mm. not be forced to risk her life against mm. her will? That's do, do you think that people should be forced to donate their organs? No. Nope. So, but what's the difference? Well, the difference is that donation of organs is an unnatural process uh, which sh shouldn't happen against your will, whereas pregnancy is the natural process by which we all came to be here. And we're not talking here, abortion is not equivalent to um, donating an Why? organ or not donating an organ because it's, it, abortion is actually ending a human life. Mm, but like refusing to donate an to, refusing to donate an, a, an organ, say if somebody needed that, you were the only person who could donate that, that is a choice to put your own health and safety above the life of another human being. Surely, what's the difference? What's the moral difference there? So abortion being the intentional killing of an innocent human being, that's not a question of weighing up one risk against another. That's, that's a, an act to... Uh, unnaturally end the life of a human being uh, if that human being's life has begun. So it is critical we establish when human life begins because if... if I, don't, I, don't think that's the, I don't think that's the heart of the issue. I don't, you I, said you believe in human rights for all people. Absolutely. And I, th I think the woman's right not to be forced to give birth or to be pregnant against her will trumps the anybody else's right. I right to life. Yeah, I personally don't believe that a fetus is an individual legal person but even if I did I would still hold this view I think you are pr if, if you believe that human rights begin at conception that is your right and anybody who believes that who believes that it is wrong to uh, end a human life in the womb they are free to not do that ever and I, but the idea that a state could could legally force someone to give birth against their will, to carry a pregnancy to term against their will, that I believe is morally repugnant and disgusting, the equivalent of rape. It is a moral outrage. I do not condone it. I think that abortion rights should be extended from what they are now. Okay. So the, the, the way you're framing it, talking about forcing to give birth, but if we yes. talk about what abortion actually is, mm -hmm. abortion is the, is the intentional violent ending of a human life. Now, why should, um, a, if a government's job, part of a government's job is to protect right to life and protect human rights in general, why would it be wrong for a government to protect that people group's 
right to life. Yeah, unborn children. Why, why, why should they not have a right to life that's defended? You've said even if they were a person, you'd say it'd still be okay to intentionally kill them. But how, how can that be so if you said you believe in human rights for all? The, st- the state makes all kinds of decisions like this. The state makes all kinds mm. of decisions about whose, li- whose life is of value and in what circumstances life can be ended, both in the UK, in the US, all over the world. Right? Do you think where, where else does where else are human lives intentionally ended under the law in the UK? Under the law in the UK, hmm. I think one. Of the, I think the better question to return to is why? Why for you? I'm really, really fascinated. Why for you is the question of life, the question of the life of the fetus, the only important issue here? What about the life of the woman? I never said uh, it's the what only do important they, issue. What do, what yeah. Should a woman do yeah. Happy, if she is pregnant against her will. Yeah. So. And if she's pregnant and doesn't want to be. Yeah, so it's important to establish what the most important human rights are. Now, right to life is foundational. If you haven't got the right to life, you haven't got anything. So I can agree with you that other rights are important, but right to life is the most important because if you haven't got life, you haven't got anything. So now you're, and correct me if I'm wrong, you're saying that the woman's right to her bodily autonomy, should we say, is superior to the right to life of another human being. Is that what you're saying? I don't believe that the right to li- that the, that this, that the supposed right to life of a fetus in the womb is uh, is superior to uh, the right of a pregnant person to determine what happens to their own body. No, I don't. And it never has been until very, very recently in human history and in legal precedent. I don't believe that that's correct. I don't. I think it is morally wrong to force any person to give birth against their will. Okay, so you're saying that the, uh, an adult's bodily autonomy rights are superior to a smaller person's right to life. A sm- what kind of small person well, are we the, the, talking? A baby and, in the womb. But like, not all people... I'm, I'm sorry to tell you this, but not all people who get pregnant are adults. Okay, what, okay teenagers. What I'm saying is you're saying that the, the bodily autonomy of the older person in the, in, in the equation is superior to the very right to life of the smaller person. Yes, yes I am. Okay. And on what basis... How did you come to that conclusion that bigger people, their autonomy is more important well, sorry, than the right to life of the smaller people? Well, firstly, because I don't believe that a fetus is an independent legal person. That's my personal belief. But even if it was, I don't believe that any human being has the right to exploit the body of another person to continue their own life. I don't believe anybody... Say, all right, think about it this way, right? If I needed a kidney transplant, Mm -hmm. let's say. I needed a double kidney transplant. Um, And it so happened that you were the only person in the entire world... Mm -hmm who could donate me that kidney, Mm -hmm. right? Would it be right for the state to kidnap you, strap you in a bed for nine months and say, right, we're gonna gonna hook you up to this person you don't know for nine months and um, it's not gonna matter, you know, I'm sorry, you don't have any say on it, but it's just nine months and then obviously when when it ends, you're gonna go through some discomfort. There's a small risk to your own life, you might die. Mm -hmm. But because this other person, me in this case, has a right to life, Mm -hmm. then you don't get a choice in that matter, I'm sorry. Mm. Would it be right for the state to force you to do that? I don't think it Mm. would. I don't think you would have a right to demand of me that I... I, Sorry, I don't think I would have a right to demand of you Mm -hmm. that you offer your body over like that. I don't Mm -hmm. think my right to life would... It might make you a very nice person to do it. Great, Mm -hmm. good for you. But I don't have the right to demand that of you, and I don't think anybody should. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you. It's a good point. I think I'd probably agree with you. I don't think the state would have a right to demand that, to kidnap someone and do that. I guess my question would be where that's actually, where that analogy breaks down. Because pregnancy is not that. Pregnancy is not being abducted by a stranger and forced to give, literally have something cut out of you and given to someone against your will. But pregnancy isn't, well, allow me to mention perhaps two or three. So one is, and this is, this is true around the world, certainly our country, one has special responsibilities to one, towards one's own children. Okay, so let's, let's say, for example, I'm walking on this street and um, there's a child here who is, um, who's hungry, who hasn't been fed for a day or two. Am I obliged? Is it my job to feed them under law? No. If I do feed them, is that a good gesture? Yes. But it's actually their parent who has legal responsibility to look after them because we have special responsibilities to our children. So what we're talking about here is not some stranger. It's our own child. And we do have obligations I'm sorry, to look I'm after our own called. children. I'm, I'm really, really sorry I'm being called because I have to give a speech over there. Okay, all right. Thanks Thank for your time. Yeah, cheers, Bye. Laurie. Bye. Okay, thank you, uh, Facebook Live. Sorry that conversation got cut short, but uh, we might be able to hear a bit of what they're saying um, from the stage. But I... I don't know what you made of that conversation, but I think 
What's quite interesting is that um, the resistance to really nail when life begins and the resistance to see that right to life is paramount above anything else uh, is often what we come up against with pro-abortion advocates. I'd like to try and return to that conversation if we can. Uh, stay tuned and we'll see what we can do.